Hi everyone, this is the second part that I'm gonna tell you after generating all the pictures here what we will do. The thing that I forget to mention is that go to page 2 you can see that we have logo option for sleeves and hoodies so we need to generate a pictures according to this part as well we just select that copy control C and in a new file we just paste it make it a bit bigger and just put this in the middle then export it file export or control E we should export it as a JPEG one okay we t name it as hockey logo options then click this export and then it should be RGB and it should be pixel and the width should be 1080 okay now if we come back here we can see that we have a JPEG file that is generated right now this is the logo option we need this file to show next to each of these images that we generated I will tell you how to do that okay so we don't need any coral file anymore I finished okay we close it now we go to the website here is the website that we are gonna work with log out my Skype okay now we are in the media that we are gonna upload all the images that we generated right now here I uploaded the first one this is the hockey logo option don't forget to upload it here I don't need this one anymore because I have it go to images just control A and drag and drop it here it takes a long time to upload all the images here you can see that we have around 326 items that should be uploaded here we just wait till it finished then we should go to add import new import I will control it in a new ship so that we don't lose anything here we should wait till it completely finish but right now I will tell you how to do the setting then we can do the rest we should go to all import new import then we have this page we should upload a file. Do you remember that we created a CSV file? Now we need to upload it here. Upload a file. We should go to our uh, pass to find the file. It was in hockey. Okay, so we choose the CSV file here. Then it will upload 100%. Then it will open this part. We should choose WooCommerce product. It's exactly the same as Basic 7 that I told you. Just to remind you again, we will continue this part. Okay, so we'll have our file here. We can just see that it is okay or not. Then continue to step 3. okay now we have title if you remember for the basic seven we use title and logo but here we just use title because our logo will be changed according to printed embroidery or stitch or anything else and also the color will change and the size will change so the only thing that is fixed is our title so we just keep it title then we go to commerce add on then like before we use variable product SQ will be SQ the price will be just 
price. And again, tax status should be taxable. We go to attribute. Now here, in basic 7, we have only size. But here, we have size. Then add more. We have color. Then we have logo. These are three variations that we should add it here. Then we go to variation. This is SQ. Then we put it here. This is SQ. Okay. Now we should go to images. And then again use the second one because we don't want to download it again. It's in our library. So we just put images here. Now we need to add comma and the name of logo option completely. So we put it here. Then it shows each picture and one logo option next to it. Okay? Don't forget to put it here if the site needs to have any logo option. Now, if you remember, for basic 7, we don't need to categorize it. But here, we need to categorize because we have around 15 logos. If you can see, this is logo 1 and we have till logo 15. So we need to categorize all of these logos. So we go to categorize them, product category, and here is the one that you should choose. Our title for this category will be Hockey. This sign shows that what should be under this category. And this is the category that we want to go under it. Okay? Now go to continue to step 4. Here we have unique identifier. Do you remember that we add a column there? In our CSV file, we can drag and drop it here. If we don't have it, that we should have, but in a case that we don't have it, just click auto detect. So it will detect a unique identifier here. Then we put it continue. Okay. Now we should confirm and run import but we should wait till all these images uploaded completely and then we can click confirm and run import and then it will start running totally and then our website will be generated but till then we should wait Okay, so after finishing uploading all these images, I will click on confirm and run import and it will start importing all those data there and then our website will be ready to use. I will show you in video part 3. Please follow me there. Thank you.